Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Donna and I like talking about fashion, style, luxury, handbags, you name it. If you're into all that good stuff as well, don't forget to subscribe below and hit that notification bell. So today we're going to be comparing the Cartier Love ring with the Cartier Love wedding band. So in this video, I'm going to be referring to the love ring as the thicker ring or the love ring and the wedding band as either the wedding band or the thinner ring. When I first was looking to purchase my first Cartier Love ring, I was really hesitating and struggling between deciding whether I wanted to purchase the love ring or the wedding band. There were a few videos available on YouTube, but with this video, I'm hoping to help those of you in the same dilemma as I was in when I was first looking to buy my rings. So without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to be starting with the Love Wedding Band. So as you can see, it's 18 karat white gold. And this is what it looks like. As for the width, it is thinner than the Love Ring. It's about three quarters of the width of the, of the Love Ring. Sorry about that. And this is what it looks like on. As you can see, there are screws or rivets that go along the ring. So the wedding band does contain eight screws along the wedding band and they are smaller. I will be comparing it later on to the love ring and it, the screws are smaller and closer together compared to the thicker version of this ring. Those of you wondering about the thickness, I don't have the exact measurement of the thickness. I can't show it to you in the camera, which is what I will do. And you'll be able to better see the thickness. So this here it is. So this is it. And as you can see, it is quite thick. Compared to the thicker version, it is a hair thinner, but honestly, you wouldn't be able to tell with the naked eye that it is thinner. So the inside, the, basically all the engraving says, they did engrave the Cartier logo, the size of the ring, the serial number, as well as the symbol or logo that indicates that it is 18 karat gold. Mine is a size 49. It basically only fits my wedding finger. So as you can see, if I try to fit it on my other fingers, it doesn't fit, but it does fit my wedding finger on both hands like so. Although it does only fit one finger, I purposely bought it for this finger, so I'm really okay with that. I did buy it to stack with other rings. I feel because it is thinner and more subtle than the, the love ring, you can mix and match it more easily. You can basically stack it with other Cartier rings, wedding rings, or any other ring. What I do like about it, because of the size, or the, the width, I should say, you can easily stack it with more than one ring. So I'll show you the ring stack. This is what it looks like. And as you can see, I can easily add another thin ring to my finger, which is what I'm gonna be planning on doing in the future. Now for the thicker version. So this is the thicker version of the ring. As you can see, it does have the same screws or rivets around it. It is 18 karat white gold as well. Just want to show you. But as you can see, the rivets or these screws are a little bit bigger and they are further apart. So for the thickness, here it is. Like I said, it's a hair thicker. You can barely tell the difference. This ring is bigger than the wedding band. I can't fit it on more fingers, so I can fit it on my thumb. Although I don't usually wear rings on my thumb. My index finger, my middle finger. It does fit on my ring finger, although I do feel it looks kind of big and oversized, so I never wear it there. I honestly wear it on my middle finger like so. And as you can see, because it is thicker, the screws or the, the rivets show more. As well, they do seem to be deeper engraved compared to the wedding ring. And I will show you a side-by-side -side later on so you can see what I'm talking about. But because it is thicker, I do feel it looks very nice alone as a standalone piece or a statement piece. Whereas if I show you the Love Wedding Band, it feels a little bare. 
Another advantage of this is that you can, if you really wanted to, stack it with another ring. But because the screws are more visible, I definitely feel it looks better stacked with either a Justin Clou or the thinner love ring. For the inside of this ring, there is also the engraving with the Cartier logo, the size and the serial number along with the symbol that indicates it's 18 karat gold. However, the engraving is less deep, so you can see it a little bit less than the wedding ring. And I don't know if it's the case for all the love rings versus the wedding bands or it has to do with the country it's made in, the year it's made in. I have no idea, but for me in my case, the engraving in my love ring is lighter than in my wedding ring. So now I'm gonna put them both on on the respective fingers I usually wear them on. So this is how I usually wear them. As you can see on these fingers. And this is what they look like side by side. So as you can see, the rivets on the wedding band are smaller, they're less deep and they are closer together compared to the love ring. Let me show you the thickness of each side by side. So as you can see, the thickness of the love ring is a touch thicker than the wedding band, but you can barely tell the difference. As for the prices of these rings, the love ring is a little bit more expensive than the wedding band. So the love ring in USD, I believe, is around $1,800 whereas the wedding band is $1,100 around, give or take. And so the love ring is about six to $700 more than the wedding band, which is fine. So I just want to stack them on one on top of the other to show you what they look like stacked. But keep in mind, the love ring is too big for my finger, so it will look a little bizarre or weird. So this is what they look like stacked. And as you can see, the screws are rivets because the size and the spacing does change according to the thickness or the width of the ring. They do not stack up perfectly. And it's the case even if my love ring was the right size for this finger and fit well. So now I want to just show you how I do wear them with my other jewelry and what it looks like together. So this is what it looks like. Honestly, both rings do have their advantages. Basically, the wedding band is thinner, so you can mix and match it a lot. You can stack it with an array of other rings, whereas the thicker one is basically a standalone statement piece. So my advice to you for anyone hesitating between the two rings is to really sit down, think about how you wanna wear your ring, what you wanna wear it with, and if you're really looking for a stackable ring to mix and match with your other jewelry, I would definitely go for the wedding band. If you're looking more for a statement piece, a standalone piece that you might maybe one day want to stack with another Cartier ring, then the love ring is the way to go. So that is all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.